yeah I want to make this a short video but I also want to mention um, I'm gonna be doing some videos on video quality of the Sony a6000 and the GH3 cameras so um, yes I just wanted to mention this before I uh, make this video that I'm going to be doing some uh, video comparison and uh, video quality of the a6000 the Sony a6000 and a Parasonic GH3 so right now I am using a Sony a6000 and I have it set in video mode and priority and ISO is 800 so that's just a, uh, that's all the adjusting that I have did I just set it to ISO 800 and at f3.5 so I just want to make a note of that if you want to see the um, how the video quality of this camera looks well I'm doing it in this video right now so what I wanted to mention is basically my first impression of this microphone. Um, basically my first impression of this microphone adapter to this um, Philips recorder. Because if you remember, um, I did a boxing of this microphone a couple of days ago. So I just wanted to do a quick follow up on this. So what I was doing today was actually testing... Um, this XLR adapter you know about my impression on this um, XLR adapter I wanted to mention when I first got this microphone and I did a test the other day uh, just a quick sound test using music I was actually um, kinda disappointed on the microphones on the quality of the microphones right here I was thinking you know I was gonna get you know pretty good sound from them but to my surprise um, it sounded quite bad to be honest and I'm just not saying this but uh, yeah I was really um, shocked I was expecting more from these in camera mics or in microphone mics and I was kind of disappointed when I heard the sound quality uh, I sound nowhere near as good as well not even as good but the quality of these microphones were really bad they, they were not even decent quality and I was really, you know, shocked by this because um, I was expecting more from these mics and from this. But, you know, actually with this recorder, I have mixed emotions now because what I did today, earlier today, I actually wanted to try out the XLR adapter to see how it would sound using my own microphone. And let me tell you, I was really surprised. I was actually really shocked, you know, and kind of, you know, blown away when I heard the sound quality of this XLR adapter uh, and when I used my own mic and compared to the you know in microphones the um, inline microphones on this recorder and let me tell you something it just the sound quality that came from um, this adapter using this microphone right here this is like the Zing U I think it's how it's pronounced microphone and again this is an inexpensive microphone this is just like a $20 microphone and um, when I hooked this up to this XLR adapter and to this recorder, I was just surprised by the sound, like blown away. I mean, I couldn't believe how well um, this thing sounded and how dynamic um, the recording sounded when using this adapter. And also, uh, I wanted to mention this real quick, is that um, I kind of have mixed feelings about this recording and this adapter. You know, this adapter is really unique. I haven't seen anything like this because um, not only this is an adapter that allows you to import XLR cables. Let me see if I can have a cable right now to show you right here. Here we go. It fit right in like this. Look at this. So yeah, not only does it allow you to use two microphones or dual microphones for stereo recording with this adapter but what really surprised me is the fact that it has a built-in um, phantom power yes not only does it have built-in phantom power but it has two votes selection it actually has a 24 volt selection right here and it has a 48 volt selection so that's really interesting you know I haven't seen recorders especially that have um, built-in preamps that have a 24 volt um, power 
Phantom Power. It's usually 48 volts, but it has both, and it's, it's really surprising. See, right, if you can see it really good. 24 here, and you switch it, and let me see. And then it has XLR, and then it has 48 volts. So that's really nice. But we're, what also surprised me about this adapter is the fact that it has, of course, you know, it has a built in lithium ion battery. It has a built in rechargeable battery. Yes, and when I first got this, um, I didn't really pay much attention to it. I just put it to the side and looked at the uh, recorder. But after looking at this adapter and hooking it up today, um, yes, it has a built in rechargeable okay. battery. Okay, I'm going to try to make this quick because I am running out of um, space on my memory card. But basically, this adapter has, as I can see, it has one or two major flaws, you know. And again, you know, I want to say this is a really cool idea. It's really cool, really neat. But at the same time, it's um, it has two major flaws. And I don't know why they actually built this this way. Uh, the major flaw on this adapter is the fact that um, if you want to basically... Um, charge your recorder charge this recorder right here or you want to get your audio files or data off of this recorder you are going to have to um, remove it you're going to have to remove these screws or screw them and then it just you know slides right out but every time you want to charge this machine or access your data to your computer you're going to have to remove this adapter right here you're going to have to unscrew it and then you're going to have to disconnect the um, 3.5 millimeter jack right here and and what's interesting about this design that I don't really don't understand why they did this actually they put the USB connector or the port connector at the bottom of this microphone right on most recorders they are on the side rarely you see them at the bottom so when I first got this I was thinking because of the USB connector is at the bottom of this microphone here I was thinking this sleeve would work as a docking station like you see on a smartphone you know if you familiar with Samsung smartphones a lot of them come with a cradle or a dock and the phone just slides right into the cradle and it charges it because there's a USB connector or port at the bottom of the dock or cradle so it just fits right in it locks and it charges right well this doesn't do this as you can see um, and there's a USB um, port right here so you can charge this and this is what surprised me that this actually has a built-in battery rechargeable battery and you would think that if you could recharge this you know this adapter using the um, micro USB port on the side look like they would have made it where you can charge your device or your recorder as well at the same time but you can't so every time you want to record this uh, recharge this or get your data off of this you're going to have to disconnect this you know you're going to have to unscrew it and disconnect the cable and again you know and the thing with the cable is the fact that um, you have to be really careful because if this cable breaks or if it gets cut um, you can't use this adapter anymore you know you can't use it so this is why I don't know why they did not make it where the whole recorder just connects into the dock or into this adapter where the USB port connects and you could basically it would have been nice you could charge both devices and you wouldn't have this cable but this is the way they made it you know and that's one of the major flaws on this device but at the same time um, and this is what I keep uh, mentioning at the same time um, this is really a cool idea because I was thinking I don't know if you could do this but this adapter right here, this XLR adapter, actually, I believe, can work as a preamp for your digital camera because you have the 3.5 millimeter jack here. See? And I haven't tried it. I'm not sure, but you might be able to plug this into your camera, right? Your DSLR camera. And you can actually maybe use this as a preamp to a microphone so you could power your microphone using this adapter. I'm not sure if it works, but I'm going to try it. So if if it's if that's the case, well, I don't mind this design if it works like that. You know, if you could plug this into your camera instead of using, you know, this device. But again, you know, when I use this device to this recorder, I was really surprised. It sounded amazing, you know. Um as I mentioned before, the the, the audio quality or the playback of 
recorded sound sounded really dynamic and it was really loud and I had the volume actually it was set at four and I did not realize this you know until after I did my recording I would have turned it down to three but it was set at four but as you can see you can see the the gain knob right here so you could adjust the gain on your recording so it was actually automatically set at four so and, and the maximum is five so I would have you know turned it down to three but you know with this adapter it makes your mic very sensitive so it picks up sound real easily easily and it just sounded really great I was really surprised on the sound quality using this adapter it sounds ten times better than use these microphones that's built in so yes um, again you know this is a weird device this adapter because if you look there's another button right here try to see what it is okay this is the on off switch I guess to turn on the, the adapter so it will power your microphone so we turn this on okay there you see the light it lights up and it says record right so again you know this is really a great idea and then you see you switch it back and it's off but when you switch it on and when you turn your device on or plug your microphone in this other light right here will light up so you have two lights that light up and I believe the um, other light lights up when you plug in the microphone and when it's on but uh, let me show you what it looks like when you turn it on lights up look at this is nice this is a color screen as you can see and this is what really sold me on this device was the fact that it had three built-in microphones and it had a color LCD screen look at that it's actually blue and as you look um, there are three indicator lights right here let me see which one one says R-P um, uh, I don't know what that is okay one says peak and another one says X, um, XLR and basically as you can see the XLR is, is lit up so that means that the adapter is plugged into the recording device and this is why it's lit up then when you disconnect it the light goes out so when it's plugged in like this um, you could adjust the gain of your recording and I think you could even do it while uh, while this is recording you could adjust the um, gain on the volume you could adjust um, you can actually adjust the recording level so basically I should say so yeah you could change the recording level by using this and and again you know this is really an interesting device because you know it's really a, it was really a great idea but as you can see um, I wish there was some type of USB connect uh, connector so it would connect directly to the um, device so you would have to unscrew uh, this and disconnect it every time to um, get your information off of this or to charge it you know but yeah but again you know um, the bright side of it is that you might be able to use this as a preamp for your camera just to adapt it by itself but yeah this is just my first impression of this and you know I really like the design I really like the LCD screen and also it makes a great you know mp3 player so um, you know if you want to listen to your mp3 music and that's another thing that really surprised me was you know basically the sound quality of this device um, when you listen to mp3 files it sounds great I mean it sounds as good as a smartphone and the volume level is very loud so you don't even need to turn the volume up all the way I can't play any music but I just want to show you where you can listen to your audio tracks okay here's the volume right here and it goes up to I think I don't know how many bars let me see okay it goes up to 15 bars right and just halfway it's very loud almost too loud at halfway so as you can see you can take the bars down to about right here at just four bars it's loud enough to um, mp3 file and it plays uh, mp3 files I don't know if they play wave files it should because it records waves but um yeah you could take your music with you and again this 
I believe this recorder has built in um, storage memory already built in I think so I don't think you, you it also uses the SD card but I, I don't remember if I uh, actually if it's the SD card in this thing I don't know but I think it has built in memory or onboard memory but anyways you can store all your music on this and to access your music you just hit here uh, wait a minute I think you hit this button right here there you go you hit this button that's what it says index and it says folder A, B, C and D and there's four folders and then once you get past folder D this is where you can access your music it's a special folder and this is where you load your music and I don't even know if I could play this music this is the music that actually came with the recorder they give you two tracks or two songs in this recorder that you can listen to so I probably will play it at the end of the video because I don't know if, if I could you know put it on YouTube but anyways you know this is it so again and these are the brass screws that you have to screw every time when you want to charge this thing or get your data off but again you know I was really disappointed with the microphones the quality of the microphones that are built you know in this device but when I use my own microphone right here uh, and this is an expensive one it sounded really amazing I mean it was really the music had really a lot of impact a lot of sound and I could just hear just a tiny bit of distortion but um, I have to listen to it again because I did not do a full test this was just my first impression I just did a quick test for like a couple of minutes I could hear a tiny bit of distortion and, and I don't know if that was from the microphone or the preamp that's built in into this but yeah you know like I say it has two major flaws one is the built-in microphones um, they are no good you know I would even record music with these but it has a preamp and again this preamp is really cool because it has a built-in battery and it has 24 volt and 40, 48 volt phantom power and you could plug up you know two microphones at once okay um, you know my um, memory card was full so I had to delete some videos but I'm just about to finish up this video and again you know as I was saying um, earlier you know I have mixed feelings about this adapter but um, and again I'm gonna do some more tests tomorrow I'm gonna check out I'm gonna use different microphones but I'm gonna I wanna really see how this thing sounds and again you know I was really surprised by the sound quality from this um, adapter it sounded really good I mean really dynamic really nice so I guess that's about it you know so basically this was just my first impression using this adapter and I'm going to do a full review on this uh, recorder in my next video but for right now I just wanted just to give you guys you know an idea on how this sound and I was like really surprised by the sound quality of this um, adapter so look for my next video for a full review on both the adapter and the recorder. Thank you very much.